I'm uh, just back from uh, the New River overnight trip with my husband um, in North Carolina, and we used this CCS uh, 10 by 10 tarp. I'm sure there's a lot of good 10 by 10 tarps, but this is what we used. This one's actually designed to use a canoe paddle as a center post. Um, it's quick and easy to set up, and it did really great in the thunderstorm the other night. Um, we had to lower the front down a little bit to keep it from welling up and anyway it was great. Um, this is my new Puko knife. It's a Brian Andrews knife. It's um, OTM which stands for off the map and he's no longer making knives. I won it in a T-Dara Bushcraft USA challenge or not a challenge but a, a auction. Um, it's a beautiful knife. It's an A2 steel. It says 1 8 tang uh, thickness, <clears throat> but I think it's really like 3 16 uh, acid etched, scanty grind, and I'm not sure what the 8 inch bevel is, but I think it's like a little secondary grind, but I've sort of been removing that as I go. Um, it's got antler, I think it's caribou, I'm not sure. Caribou antler, leather, caribou antler, leather, and it says curly birch, but it almost looks like bird's eye. It's got a stick tang, uh, and it's threaded at the butt. Red grass. It also came with a pretty sweet fire steel with an antler to match. It worked really good um, with my open L, but unfortunately, I tried to use my I tried to use my thumb as a support and cut myself early on. So you gotta be careful with that. Um, the A2 steel is fairly hard. I wanted to compare it a little bit to the um, Condor Bush Lore. Um, I found this knife a little bit softer. I think it's 1075 steel which I'm not sure where it puts it on the Rockwell steel hardness, but probably in the 50, high 57, 56. And I believe this is a little higher. It's just hard to grade um, because it really has to do with the heat treat in the end. Um, the bush lore is a full tang and um, it's got a nice handle shape, but it's not quite as nice a carving knife as my new Puko. Thank you, T. Dara and Bushcraft USA. So these are some of the other tools that I really enjoy using out there. And this is my new Silky Ultra XL saw. It works fantastic. It's just <clears throat> an excellent aggressive saw. You can use it very lightly and you can see it's, it's super sharp, but you gotta, only do it on the pull and I'm not doing very well with it but that's that little demo it's a beautiful saw love it 10 inch blade gom rubber awesome aluminum handle the next tools are my three axes my little <clears throat> Uh, one and a quarter plum hatchet. Um, it's really a cute little axe. I did a Scandi grind on it and I made a copper sheath for it. Um, and I stamped how heavy it was so I could remember. And I just love it for little bushcrafty things. <clears throat> the other um, one that I took on the last trip worked really well for splitting is my Plum Boys Axe and uh, same kind of sheath. Uh, I made the handle um, straight. I made it the same length from my wrist to my armpit. Works really good with two hands for a full swing, um, but it's not so good for one-handed work because the, the handle gets on you. So you gotta be careful. Beautiful axe, same thing. I kind of scandy ground it, rounded it a little bit. 
And then this is my new uh, Liam carving axe, Liam Hoffman carving axe. Ah, uh, I can't remember the type of steel, um, but it's hand forged. Um, it's got a six inch blade and it makes it really good for slicing into wood. Um, I really like it for using, for making bowls. It's the large carving axe. It's two and a quarter pounds and a total length of 15 inch. It's got the Fawn's foot. Um, and he's a really talented young craftsman. Um, glad to support him in his axe making and knife making adventures. He's awesome. Um, let's see. The other thing I like to carry is some strop material and couple of um, water stones. These are actually vintage um, homes from, from Europe somewhere, probably Belgian homes. Um, and I like to like them because they're water-based and you don't need any oil. <clears throat> okay, and then the other thing I carry in my axe kit, besides a Sharpie, is a medical kit. And in my medical kit, I carry, uh, well, some gloves that I could be wearing to prevent injury. Clotting sponge, real handy. Uh, Coban, uh, gloves, and uh, some pre-wrap. Knuckle bandages, kinesio tape to wrap on over everything. If you got a big wound, it works great. Um, four by fours, cloths, um, and some triple biotic ointment. Matches, and the other thing I like to carry that's pretty handy is coffee filters. Um, they wipe up all kinds of stuff. They're pretty clean. I use them for a lot of things. And that's it. So we had a great trip on the river and I hope you enjoyed the video. Get out and do some adventures. It's fun.